hello friends so once again welcome to my channel in this video we will see nesting of interrupt request and simultaneous interrupt request how we are going to handle this nesting of interrupts see the meaning of nesting is what whenever one interrupt request is going on that time another interrupt request comes then whether we are going to honor it or not so here this time we are going to honor it see depending on the situation depending on the application we need to take up one path previously i told whenever one interrupt was going on that time whenever one interrupt request is going on if at all another interrupt request comes we are disabling it that means that was my requirement now my requirement is like that whenever one interrupt request is going on that time if another interrupt request comes i may be interrupted depending on the priority of the incoming request if whenever i am doing one interrupt request if one interrupt request comes from a higher priority device then ongoing request will be ongoing service will be interrupted that is the meaning of interrupt nesting so then i need to tell one example also suppose we are implementing the system clock the real time clock using the method of interrupt every one second we used to get a interrupt and in response to that interrupt we used to manipulate the hour minute and that second actually that three counters we need to increment so see whenever interrupt comes for this clock manipulation if we will not honor to it then what will happen the time will go and means <clears throat> will not get the proper value means the correct value of your time because every one second interrupt will come and we need to manipulate the values then only the system clock will show us the correct value like this there are many more other services are there where whenever one interrupt is going on that time if that request comes then we need to service it so due to that whatever devices places their request if it is of higher priority then will means depending on their uh, means requirement will put some priority to the um, interrupt request right and whosoever enjoys the highest priority that device request we are going to honor or we are going to service this can be resolved by using priority based interrupt it uses multiple level priority interrupt request will be accepted from some devices but not from others depending upon the device priority that i said whenever one is going on one interrupt is going on one request is going on that time another request comes whether i am going to take it or not that depends on what what is the incoming request priority if they are of higher priority than that of me then i am going to be interrupted so to implement this we can assign a priority level to the processor that can be changed under the program control right so whenever processor is executing the cpu is executing one isr right so this isr will be for a particular device whatever is the priority of that particular device that will be the priority of the cpu for that time and how do we encode the priority of your cpu in the status register some bits are reserved and using those bits we can use uh, means set the priority of the processor priority of the processor will be the priority of the device for whom we are currently executing the interrupt service routine and under normal means for application programs application programs cannot change the priority of the cpu right uh, for your security reasons so under your supervised mode of execution uh, in case of supervised execution what happens that time operating system codes will be executed and they are only responsible to change the priority of the cpu once we switch to your this one what is that application program then we will move to your user mode system uh, the cpu works in two mode one is your supervisor mode another is user mode in user mode only our application program are executed so the point is the processor's priority can be encoded using a few bits in the processor status register so what we are doing in interrupt nesting is suppose multiple devices are there right here suppose p number of devices we have taken we know processor has got a single line right but we want to assign multi, uh, means uh, specific lines to a particular device then what we will use we are going to use priority arbitration circuit 
priority interrupt controller that has got eight input lines those eight input lines are connected to your each of the devices right then whosoever places the request it will come to know on which line the request is coming right here device one to device p is there each has their individual lines right so whosoever places the request that particular line will become active right and suppose uh, whosoever places the request the line will become active and on behalf of that this fellow is going to place a request to the cpu then cpu will give the intf pulse and then it will be given to the particular device whosoever has placed the request this how it works right this is how it works now suppose interrupt request on suppose device number 3 was going on right for this device number 3 the request was going on means the isr was executing that time on device 1 places the request then it is going to be honored why because lower number indicates higher priority so this one is having priority 3 this is priority 1 so priority 1 is a higher priority then this request will be what it will be interrupted this is one case second case suppose this was going on there is a request incoming request is there on intr five line then it is not going to place one interrupt request to the cpu because it knows in that ongoing interrupt request has a higher priority than the incoming one so it is not going to place a interrupt request to the processor so the point is here multiple priority scheme is there where individual intr and intr lines are there priority arbitration circuit its job is to arbitrate the priority a logic circuit which combines all the interrupts but allows only the highest priority request it will take all the requests but it is going to honor only one request whom it is going to honor that it will decide depending on the logic it is using so there are two types of uh, your priority scheme it can use one is fixed priority that means always will say this lower number spelling mistake is there lower number indicates higher priority that is fixed always lower number devices if they places request their request is going to be honored first another one is rotating priority see this rotating priority scheme you can understand it the way students used to sit in your schools school and uh, they used to do rotation suppose whosoever is sitting today in the first bench they next day they will sit on the last bench and last bench people will go to the uh, means next last and so on each bench people will get one one promotion right each day so from the second bench next day the person will be sitting on the first bench and today if suppose someone is sitting in the first bench next day the fellow will get the last bench so that is only here rotating priority means priority is not fixed right we keep on changing the priority of the devices how do we do that once one device is serviced that means it has become the highest priority holder that device will become the lowest priority device once it is service its priority will be changed so that means that always lower number problem will not be there so today suppose someone is sitting on the first bench next day because today he has got the highest priority so next day the person will get the lowest priority and everyone's priority will increase by one so see the lowest priority device and the device next in sequence will become the highest priority that means who also were sitting on the second bench will come to the first bench and first bench will go to the last bench this is how it works this is very simple right another one is handling multiple devices right in the previous case see we have dedicated lines for each of the device right so who has placed the device request that that we know and then uh, means depending on our priority scheme we are using maybe fixed maybe rotating based on that the priority arbitration circuit will choose one and on behalf of that particular device it will place one request to the cpu right this is how it works and in case of your this one daisy chain in case of daisy chain scheme there is a common interrupt request line all the devices can place the request over there and then here i uh, this suppose processor has got one active uh, this int line here zero that means there is an interrupt then processor will send int pulse to the request right that int pulse will be first received by device 1 if device 1 has placed an interrupt request then 
it will not allow this this signal to move to, to the next device and processor will send processor will start the interrupt service routine for device one so suppose i am using interrupt case also right then see i mean sorry that backward interrupt at me so first the device any of these devices will place the interrupt request processor will see that processor will respond by intf pulse then if this device has taken the intf pulse then this device is going to place the vector code on the data bus and accordingly isr will start if it has not placed the interrupt request then the intf pulse will be given to the next device in sequence if this device has placed the request it will send the vector code on the bus and the interrupt service routine will start so this how the priority is there so whosoever is closest to the processor will have the highest priority here so see here INTL line is common to all the devices. So see here, cost will be less because we have less connection. Common lines are there, common to all the devices, and INTL is connected in daisy chain fashion. This how it moves, right? Where INTL signal propagates serially through the devices from this to this, then this, then this like this, right? And when IR is active on INTL line, that means there is an interrupt request on the INTL line. Then INT is sent to device one, and it will pass it to the device two. When it will do so, if it does not require any service, if device one has placed the request, then it will not pass on the INT pulse, right? And then it will send the vector code, and then the whole work will start, right? In daisy chain, the device that is electrically closest to the processor will have the highest priority. Hope this part is clear, right? Whosoever is getting the first INT pulse, that will take it, and then that particular device request will be honored first, right? Another one is, see, we have understood the daisy chain method, and we have understood your that uh, uh, this one. What is that? Priority arbitration circuit scheme also. Now what we'll do? We'll combine both the methods, right? So that is our last one for handling multiple devices. We'll combine multiple priority and daisy chain. in multiple priority each line has a priority and based on our priority resolving scheme we are going to choose one and next what we have done we have combined both of them multiple priority and daisy chain so here see the diagram see this one is having priority first suppose i am uh, using your fixed row priority this one is having next priority and this one has the last priority right now see how it works the devices which are of highest importance will group them together into this series next second highest priority devices will be grouped into this line and those who are of least importance them will place in this series this is understood now see there is a uh, suppose there is one interrupt service routine going on for this device and now there comes one interrupt request from this particular device then what will happen we are following lower number indicates higher priority so this device request will be uh, service routine will be interrupted and we are going to honor this line and then we are going to do the service for this one right but if suppose whenever this was going on and there is a request on this then it will not be honored so that is priority means multiple priority is there uh, how daisy chain works suppose on this line two devices has placed the request right then the int pulse will be first received by device 1 so it will be executing first right so this how it works so where device uh, organized in groups and each have your different priority level the beginners are the highest priority one the last one is the of the least priority right so we have combined both the methods so in this way also we can handle multiple interrupt request so this much is there regarding your interrupt so thereby we have completed all the methods of performing your uh, your io operations basically right now we have completed the method using your vector uh, interrupt methods only so this much is there in this video thank you and wishing you all good luck and if you are getting from my videos then please like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you